Hey guys, welcome back um, to another Let's Talk About. And today I have the first two games from Division 1 um, campaign for you. And unfortunately, both games the guy was playing in each one quit. So uh, it's not as long as I was hoping for. But anyway, today um, I thought we should talk about Cesc Fabregas. Man United have bid £26 million uh, for Fabregas. And... It's it's a little bit under, I would imagine, what he's worth at the moment. Uh, he still, even though he doesn't play as much uh, for Barca as some of, some of the others, say Iniesta or Xavi in the midfield, he still produces uh, a lot of goals and a lot of assists. And he's still, he's still as good a player as he was for Arsenal. Uh, we just don't get to see him as much uh, with him playing behind those two in midfield. If I was Fabregas... I'd be a little bit unhappy about the amount of playing time I'm getting. Uh, also, where I'm playing, uh, he's often been forced a little bit wider than his natural position of uh, centre mid. But yeah, I, if I was Fabregas, I, I wouldn't be pushing for a move uh, because it took him so long to get back to Barca after leaving there as a youth player. But you know, I'd be having a word with the management, just a little well. Other teams want me, they value me, I deserve more playing time, basically. This bid comes from United just after they missed out on Thiago, another Barca player who's gone to Bayern. Um, not, obviously not as well known as Fabregas, but um, in terms of his potential, it's he could end up being the same uh, level of, of player, uh, just below world class. Um, so it, it is the right move by United to go after a centre mid. They've needed one for a very long time. Uh, we've often seen in European games that they're overrunning midfield and uh, Carrick and whoever he's playing with can't control the midfield, which is very needed in, uh, in the Champions League. It's a different style of football. In the Premier League, you can get away with, uh, with four free games or five, four games, I think they had against Reading uh, last season. But they, they, they need to address the centre midfield issue. They've tried various different players there. Uh, obviously, um, Darren Fletcher would normally be a regular, but with his illness problems, he's, he's mainly unavailable. Uh, Anderson hasn't turned out to be the player that um, they were expecting. To me, he always looks a bit overweight. Looks like he's a bit of a party boy kind of thing. Uh, I've never particularly rated him since he arrived at United. He seems to play uh, FA Cup games, League Cup games against... Uh, lower division teams score a couple of goals and it's all good you know they paid over 20 million I believe for him so they haven't got their money's worth out of him far from it whenever I talk about United to uh, to my friends or to my dad um, we always come to the same conclusion that the midfield is weak and they need they've needed someone in the midfield for a very long time so going after Fabregas is perfect for them uh, another person I thought they might go after is Il Ilkay Gundogan uh, from Borussia Dortmund, had a very good season last year. Uh, he'd probably cost about the same amount as Fabregas um, because of the length of his contract and the fact that he probably wouldn't want to leave Dortmund as well. But do I see Fabregas ending up at United? Almost certainly not, mainly because of Thiago leaving. Uh, it would mean that they have a young kid called Sergi Roberto who will take over Thiago's role. But then they would have to go out and replace Fabregas as well. Now, could they do that this summer? You know, they've they've already spent a lot of Neymar. I think they would quite happy with Fabregas being part of the team and eventually progressing. And when Xavi retires, um, he would take over that role and play alongside Iniesta. So that about wraps it up for all I wanted to talk about with Cesc Fabregas today. I'm sure I'll be making another video about him in the future when uh, his future is actually determined. In the next video, I want to talk about Thiago, um, what I think of him, what I think of the move for Bayern, and I'll probably talk a little bit more about Bayern and Pep Guardiola in that as well. I do have uh, a longer video for you guys next time. Uh, it's a shame that both these guys I was playing quit. Uh, but, you know, when you're, when you're winning by that many, I can, I can somewhat understand it. But yeah, uh, that, that's it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you next time.